Last time on Gay Crumbs. Um, my name is Morgan Fay, <laughs> and I am a spirit man. medium in a manner of speaking. I'm sorry, but what did you mean in a manner of speaking? Ah, I don't think anyone really cares. Now then, after the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that is correct. Aaron, put your p*** into it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hello, and welcome back <laughs> to Ace Attorney. Ah! Godzilla. Go what? I don't know. Could you imagine? <laughs> If he was real though, it'd be like crazy it'd be, though. It'd be insane. If, if he was like, OBJECTION! And then he's just like, flaming breath. <laughs> <laughs> I can- I always want to do the Godzilla roar, but it's so impossible <laughs> to replicate. Like the- Well, there's two- there's two aspects to it, right? There's like the- There's the-, the At yeah. the end, you know? And then there's the- And yeah. they- and they switch it. They'll make it so like- like, in Godzilla Minus One, he didn't have that. Ah, he just went, ooh, but then at the end it went, ooh, like the, that sound. Yes. But then in, the, in other, in like Godzilla 1986, he, he goes, ah, but it doesn't have the, ooh, at the end. Interesting. Yeah. I, um, I fucking love Godzilla. All right, here we go. Uh, uh, All right, we're, we're like, we're hot and heavy in this trial now. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Well, I suppose since you've put it out on the table, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You might as well answer the question for us. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Fucking murdering! Now's your chance, Phoenix! Kill her! <laughs> yeah, it just grabs one of her tits. No! <laughs> Jesus Christ, Phoenix! <laughs> it's ridiculous. The only person who could have killed Dr. Gray was Eeny Miney. So now is the time to prove it. Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear your answer. Okay. Where, Where was the witness when the murder took place? The fucking challenge every dipshit. Take that! Miss Miney was here, of course. What? But but that's the channeling chamber. Isn't that the crime scene? Yeah, you fucking idiots! Yeah. Do I have to spell it out <laughs> for you? <Good> Lord. <laughs> Miss Miney was at the scene of the crime! Hold on, hold on. Order, order, order. That's why that is. Ugh. Miss, Mr. Phoenix Wright, have you lost your mind? Yesterday's testimony established that only the victim and the defendant were in the chamber when the channeling started. Yes, yes, that is correct. Please explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Simple. Miss Eeny Miney was hiding at the scene of the crime. I. I was hiding? Yeah. Behind the screen. Where. where was I hiding? <laughs> Here, of course. Behind the folding screen? Like an obvious place someone could hide? Don't make me say this again. Recall yesterday's testimony. There ain't no way anyone was hanging out behind that folding screen. There you stupid jerk. Quit being so quick to pin it on me, slime ball. Oh. Now, now, Miss Meanie Miney. One so young as you shouldn't be saying. Shut up, Gramps. As if you know exactly how old I am. I'm 74. Looks like the pipe's about to burst. I guess I should help it along. Flush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta go to the bathroom real quick. The witness was hiding behind the folding screen with the help of this. The folding screen. <laughs> um. The, the costume? The box. Oh. The box. Miss Miney, how were you able to hide yourself at the scene of the crime is very simple. You were hiding inside this box. Ah, that tiny little box. No person could fit in that. Mm, if it fits. No person. But are you or are you not a munchkin? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's so right. I do wish to welcome you to Lollipop Live. <laughs> Case closed. <laughs> Sorry, but your theory has already been disproved. What a disproved when you, she was hiding from me in it. Um... But that closing box... That closing box was in the side room, right? Yeah, but not all, the whole time. Which means that it has nothing to do with the murder at all. Uh-uh. 
that's right. I was sleeping there, so I should know. That Chloe box was there in the side room the whole time. I couldn't have brought it back with me. Hmm, Mr. Wright. Do you think you can prove where the clothing box was at the time of the crime? Yes, I can with some evidence. <laughs> yeah, the whole... <laughs> oh, she stuck the gun out of the hole? Well... Is that what they're saying? Well, at the very least that we can prove that there was a gunshot hole in it, yeah. Cool. And now I present the piece of evidence that will prove this clothing box is at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Uh, present. Oh, bullet hole. I see. I see. Take a look at this clothing box. Take a look at this clothing box! You're so stupid. It's the only one I've got! As if there's any sort of evidence of that old thing. The, the, what on earth? Ugh. <laughs> I don't have time for you to- wait, I don't have time for you to sit there surprised. Hurry up and say it already. There's a hole in the bucket, <laughs> dear Eliza, about eight inches off the ground. Maybe if I'm crouching, it'll work. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, a hole about eight inches off the ground. Where have we heard that before? The, the folding screen. It had a hole at the same height. Oh, oh I see. Uh. That's right. I hope this has opened your eyes to what happened. They've been closed this whole time. No, you think you've missed Miney. <laughs> Yeah. At the time of the shooting, the clothing box was sitting behind the folding screen! Which is why the bullet from the pistol hit both the box and the folding screen. It went through the screen and then into the box! <laughs> Miss Miney, you were hiding behind the folding screen waiting for your chance. And well, yes, you're, yes, for your chance to kill Dr. Gray, idiot. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Order, order. So what are you saying? Then, Mr. Phoenix Wright, what about this picture of this completely different person killing him? <laughs> are you saying that the person in this photo is Miss Eeny Miney? That is exactly what I am saying! This is Miss Eeny Miney. You were hiding inside this clothing box all along. And you wore a medium's costume to masquerade as Maya Fey. To masquerade as Maya Fey? Yes, it's a very popular uh, practice in France. <laughs> she had it planned from the very beginning. She would kill Dr. Gray and pin the blame on my client. Maya Fey, masquerade as Maya Fey, masquerade, <laughs> Maya Fey. <laughs> no, stop. I can't stand to listen to any more of this foolishness. If that's the case, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I have a proposition. You, me, Godzilla minus one, tonight. <gasps> minus color? <laughs> this whole idea is that the witness moved the closing box to the crime scene, pretended to be the defendant, killed the victim, and then fled the scene of the crime. Well, it's just too hot to be imagined. It's not possible for one person to do that all by herself. Uh. Oh, Morgan might have helped her. Correct, it's not possible. No, <laughs> it really is possible. Impossible for one person to do all the preparations. That is, how? Need I remind you, the foolish receive no mercy. I yes, I've never heard that before. Wait, Miss Von Karma, you said it was not possible for one person, correct? You can't be serious. Perf, 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 perf. Miss Miney, you had an accomplice. I. Can yeah, you change the profiles? I guess it was Morgan Fay, huh? Yeah, who else? She's been uncool this whole time. Take that! Grr, this person. If it wasn't someone from Kurain Village, you couldn't have gotten the costume. And if it wasn't something, someone from the Maya Fay household. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to say something very cool and smart, so you better open your ears and take the biscuits around out of your ears. You wouldn't have that box to use. Morgan, hey. Isn't that the wonderful lady witness we had earlier? Oh, damn, he's hot on her. He's hot on everybody. What do you have to say to this, Ms. Miney? Very articulate. You shot Dr. Gray with your own two hands, or maybe one hand. Or maybe a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Do you deny it? 
Don't leave us in suspense. Oh, shit. Does she deny it? Oh, my God. Ah, like, ah. I think this is what really happened. The murderer had planted herself at the scene of the crime long beforehand. Dressed. Later, she grew into a tree. <laughs> Dressed into a medium's costume. <laughs> Ready to kill. <laughs> she, she grew in like a little bottle so that she would be shaped in the form of a tiny tree. <laughs> Dressed in a medium's costume and wearing a wig, she pretended to be the defendant. And then the channeling started. The murderer crept silently toward the other two, both of whom had their eyes closed. First, she drugged Maya Fey with a strong sleeping agent. <laughs> a hammer. Then she stabbed Dr. Gray with sleeping pills. <laughs> <laughs> I might have gotten that backwards. <laughs> Next, she hid my client inside the, the clothing box. She did that so she could take Maya's place and frame her for the crime. But that's when something unexpected happening happened. Unexpected? Who are you? Yeah, can I hear you? <laughs> yes. Bang. Dr. Gray was actually not yet dead. With the last of his strength, he fired a shot at his attacker. And that is why the hole in the folding screen was so low to the ground. Wait, does and that mean Maya was shot? The murderer then took the gun from Dr. Gray and... Bang. I think he just missed. Oh, okay. After that, you and the other lady thought to break into the room? Yes, a gunshot is certainly something you wouldn't expect to hear. Also, her name is Lotta. You're a fucking bad judge, dude. <laughs> yeah. Which is why, upon hearing the shots, we forced our way into the channeling chamber. Click. Miss Miney, she immediately covered her own costume with blood. <laughs> and pretended to be Maya Fey. But... That sort of deception would have been easy to see through. Which is precisely why Ms. Morgan Fay My German stop. accent sounds awfully French. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I'm not very good at this. Please leave this... Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. Hurry before there are more victims here. Raiden. <laughs> what is one supposed to say? This is the real truth behind this murder. Pretty fucking spot on, huh? F epic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, yeah, Phoenix, you're awesome. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> who, who is that laughing at a time like this? It's me, my, my, me? Yeah. Oh. oh, you simple minded fools. I'm sorry, are you still by any chance evolving? What? <laughs> Into my final form! What is it this time? Lawyermon! <laughs> Miss Von Karma, surely... I've got four guns on my back now! <laughs> and huge boobs! Of course, it was me. I killed her! <laughs> Do you really think someone with a Von Karma blood would lose due to something this bad? What in the world? Ow. Mr. Phoenix Wright. That's me. <laughs> Your, argument. <laughs> Your argument is flawed in one very crucial area. And that is... If this witness is the real murderer, why would she go through all of this trouble? Because he fucking killed her sister, dude. Huh? Working together with a medium, pretending to be one, putting on this whole act. What reason would she have to do such foolish things? I don't know, because this is a goofy video game? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, uh... Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what I was gonna say. I was too busy thinking about my murder. I was too busy making pizza dough. <laughs> oh, I'm one as a sin. Why would Miss Eenie Miney want to kill Dr. Gray? There is her motive. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to say, too. Atsamara, <laughs> Atsamara, Atsamara for you. Let me toss this into the door like grandma. <laughs> Uh, yeah, motive. I don't have a motive. <laughs> Takes a lot of work to get this pizza that I needed. <laughs> a motive? That's- I can't say she has no motive here. I have to think of a motive now. What is her reason for wanting Dr. Gray at all? The reason you wanted Dr. Gray dead is this. Yes. 
Gotta be. Um, we should start from that. Either that or like an article about the the crash. Yes. Yeah. Take that! Ha! Just as I thought. You bore me with your silly answers, Phoenix Wright. Oh, that was wrong. Yeah. I would assume it's the malpractice thing. It's gotta be it, though. Yeah. Do you think I did this to get revenge for my sister's death? Yes. Actually. Yeah, I, I, exactly. <laughs> because through that accident, you suffered a lot of hurt and pain yourself. Don't be stupid. I never even liked her. No one has proof that Dr. Gray drugged my sister, right? And you want to say I wanted to take revenge based on nothing? What do you mean by that? Senile, stupid gramps. Boy, huh? she's cocky. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like going to explain, so like, please listen, okay? It's been over half a year since I was discharged from the hospital. And I was like, ew, discharge. If I, like, wanted revenge, then, like, I wouldn't have waited this long. Um, and sides. Like, the guy that thought of the spirit thing was, like, Dr. Gray. It was, like, a total coincidence he asked me about it, you know? She, she's back to her airhead persona. H however, you see, yowch. Pathetic, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Can you even imagine the rule 34 on me? It must be insane. Oh, dude. Thank you. I mean, it's gotta be, That's right? what I'm doing later. All right. You failed to support your own theory. No. You're welcome. The end. I think we have our answer. Mr. Phoenix Wright. What Miss Viney has stated is very true. The revenge plan is overly complicated, and she has no motive in the first place. Furthermore, there is no reason for Miss Morgan Fay to cooperate with this plan. Mm -mm. Yes. You don't even have any truly decisive pieces of evidence to demonstrate your point. So many faults, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You should really learn your place. Erka! What happened? I thought I had her for sure. Hey, see, like, it's just as I, like, told you. Huh? <laughs> I hope you liked your slice of humble pie. Very well. I now conclude the cross-examination of Miss Eeny Meeny. Miney. Oh, fun, huh? Anyway, let's go eat. Oh, oh damn. Your Honor, please allow the defense one more minute. All right, no. <laughs> big boobed ghost. <laughs> you can't lose here. Have faith in yourself, Phoenix. Yeah. Uh... Yes, it does sound like a ridiculously messed up plan for a murder. But, you know, regardless, that girl trained for this crime. Uh, really? Think. Listen, Phoenix. Stare into my bosom of the future. <laughs> <laughs> and all will be revealed. Everything happens for a reason. There is a reason for why she had to kill Dr. Gray. And it is also the reason she had no choice but to kill him in this fashion. Believe in the cleavage of truth <laughs> and the areolas of justice. <laughs> Time is up, Mr. Wright. Oh, but I'm looking <laughs> in the areolas of justice! <laughs> Your final answer, please. If you want to say that you can prove Miss Miney had a motive, then why did she kill the victim in this way? Can you provide the reason? Can I really do this? Yes, I can't. Nope, sorry. Yeah. I am not totally confident here, but I know that I must press on no matter what. That's right, Phoenix. Only you can do this now. I will show and substantiate the fact that Miss Miney had a motive. Use the nipples of decisiveness and the, like, the, the titty meat of, <laughs> of power. Yes, my queen. <laughs> Ha ha ha, too bad. You're too late. My cross-examination has already ended after all. Eek. Interesting. I'll let you have your chance, Mr. Phoenix Fight. Why? What? You're supposed to be on my side. I you such a fuck up. Wait, is she hitting her with the whip yeah. now? That's really funny. A Von Karma only cares about the perfect win. As long as you have the will to fight, I will knock you down, Mr. Phoenix Wright. That rhymes. Yeah, nice rhyme, dude. <laughs> and I don't care if you are my witness, so help me, I will bring the fitness. No way! Very well. The, the court will take a five minute recess. We will continue the cross examination after we reconvene. Hey, wait a second! Mm. <laughs> to be continued. What?
the game doesn't have to say that. It can just keep going. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Well, sure. It's, it was a portable game, so I think they were like, all right, this session is over. Oh, you can I see. You down your fucking... You can get up from the toilet and go go about your life. <laughs> go li yeah, go live. Um, all right, great. Nice. Take a look at my wiener. <laughs> it's one of the two I've got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right. All right. Here we are. Is it really true about my aunt? I'm afraid so. Did it leave the colony? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm afraid so, Maya. There is no way Eni could have killed Dr. Gray by herself. And under the circumstances, there's no one else other than your aunt, Morgan. That, that's terrible. Why? Why would my aunt? Yep, and this is oh, oh. a new drawing. <laughs> Ack, Miss Von Karma, why are you doing this? Why are you trying to take revenge on Nick? Nick had nothing to do with what happened to your dad. You stupid fuck! Don't you have something better to be worrying about? Wouldn't it be great if she was just like? Hey, sorry it's so rough in there. You know, it's just it's the job, and like if Listen, you want to get man, drinks afterwards, yeah, yeah, we're cool, we're cool. Like, I, I not understand. I'm yeah. gonna win the case. There's but. no accent whatsoever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like truly no hard feelings. I just, you know, it's just our reputation that I have to uphold. You understand? Then she hits you with a whip. <laughs> Say your own situation. Uh, looking down on me, even though we're the same age. Are you done yet? You've caused me enough pain and suffering, and you're so hot. Not yet. My goal is to defeat you and let the whole world know of your defeat. But even if you do that, it won't bring your father back. Hmm. Whatever. In the meantime, let's bring this match to its conclusion. And then we'll know who the real winner is. You and me, because we're going to kiss. Kiss. Kiss and hug. I want to eat the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Court will now reconvene. Mr. Wright. Yes, your honor. Can you prove Miss Eeny Meeny had a motive? Oh, fuck. Uh, right. Can, uh. Can, <laughs> also, can we decide on a pronunciation for her last name? Yeah. It changes every time. I think it's Eeny Miney. Eeny Miney? Yeah. Okay. Or Eeny Meeny? Eeny Miney. Because it's. I don't know. Okay. It just, it just covers the whole thing. Oh, I got it. As opposed to just Eeny Meeny. Alright. Yes, I believe I can. Oh fuck, I hope this works. Eeny Miney and Dr. Gray have only one point of connection. And that is the car accident one year ago. The motive I'm looking for must be there. Miss Miney, please testify to the court about your car accident last year. Huh? I thought, like, you wanted to, like, ask about my, like, motive. I don't see the point in, like, bringing up the past. I mean, that's all you do in a courtroom. Yeah, yeah. The past is when all the murders happened. <laughs> Miss Miney, if you please. Okay, okay. Like, I totally don't think it'll do any good, but... <laughs> <laughs> last year's accident. That was, like, last year in May. Any Miney. That's gonna be May. <laughs> like, something really bad had happened at, like, my sister's clinic around there. And like the night of the accident, my sister was totally tired while she was driving. Vroom vroom went the car. <laughs> I was like totally pooped too, so I like fell asleep in the passenger seat. Smelled like that. All that poop. I like woke up because of a jolt, and like it was a sea of flames around me. I like opened the door and like got away. Hmm. I think I've heard of this incident. Yes. It was all the talk on the tabloid shows day after day last year. Yes, and there was talk about Dr. Gray drugging your sister? No. Uh -oh. <laughs> Those were merely rumors, totally baseless gossip. Hmm, yes. Mr. Wright, you may question the witness. Yeah, probably irrelevant. Especially about the thing I just brought up that's super, super suspicious. <laughs> right now, it's impossible to prove that Dr. Gray did, in fact, drug Miss Miney's sister. Yeah, which means I'll have to work this from another angle. The side boob. <laughs> <laughs> Last year's accident. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay. Uh, something really bad happens. 
And like the night of the accident, my sister's totally tired while she was driving. No, she wasn't. Hmm. She was totally tired. You mean exhausted? Or drugged? Yeah. Like, she had to talk to the police and, like, was being investigated, like, every day. Every day. It was, like, a totally terrible situation. It's no wonder, then, that the car accident happened, huh? Fucking press harder. So, then, why don't you ask to switch places? Why didn't you ask to switch places? Because she was too drugged. Like, uh -huh, what are you talking about? Why didn't you fucking drive, idiot? If your sister was so tired, then you should have switched with her. True. True. Yeah, like a good sister. Word him up. <laughs> ah, but like, I don't like have a driver's license. This is news to me. I was not aware you didn't have your license, Miss Miney. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I knew mm -hmm. that. Miss Miney, please amend your testimony. Like, okay, anyway. Like, fuck. I was totally pooped, so I like fell asleep on the driver's seat. I don't know, the accident was just totally tired, okay. Right. I like woke up because of a jolt and like it was a safe thing around me. I, like opened the door and like got away. Didn't have my license, so like I couldn't take over driving for her. Uh hmm. um hold on a second. Okay. She has a fucking license. Yeah. Objection! The, the guy at the place gave it to us. Yeah. Miss Miney. That was a lame lie just now. I thought it was a great lie. Like, what do you mean? I know you had a license back then. This is a photo you took for the express purpose of getting your driver's license. The music just changed behind me. So I know Making I could have found something. Um, what is the meaning of this, Miss Miney? Eeny meaning Miney Mo? <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I had, like, a license, but... Couldn't, like, use it. But I didn't get it until after the accident. Oh, fuck you. No, you had it. No, uh No, you did it. You did it. <laughs> you lying. You had it at the <laughs> time of the accident, you liar. Director Hottie, or the guy pretending to be him anyway, said so. Uh, like a real crazy person at a hospital gave this to me. <laughs> what are you talking about, that perverted fake clinic director? Yes, that perverted fake clinic director. And how did you know? Oh. <laughs> you mean perverted fake reliable witness? <laughs> no one no one cares. Witness, when did you receive your driver's license? Like last November. What? November? The accident happened last May. That's half a year lapse in time, Mr. Phoenix Wright. <laughs> That's what happened, Mr. Wright. Oh, okay. Getting fucking lippy over here. <laughs> At the time of the accident, Miss Miney did not have a driver's license. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh. Cry, and my whip will accommodate. Anyway, without a license, the witness and her sister could not have switched drivers. I'm, like, glad you get it, but, like, even if I had my license... I like, don't take my sis, but a fly. Oh, I'm a drop. Hmm. Ow. Don't just stand there humming to yourself, you fucking idiot. Not you too, Mia, with the whip and the pain and the ow. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Mighty, why do you think you would have not have been allowed to drive anyway? Ah, uh, um, that's because... I think this situation calls for a more detailed testimony. Miss Miney, if you please. Yes, a testimony that we can respond with evidence. Eh? Like, how annoying. Oops, like, sorry. Didn't mean to be mean. Didn't mean to be mean, sorry. Just mean to murder a guy. Like, around that time, I was, like, really close to getting my license. My sis was, like, this totally big fan of cars and really valued them. She, like, just got in this really shiny bright red sports car. She like would say things like, no way am I letting a noob drive my car. So like, that's why I ended up in the passenger seat that night too. Okay. Hmm. I see. A bright red car for sports. <laughs> cool. Now then, the defense may question the witness. Okay. I'm not ter terribly knowledgeable about cars, but I guess I should probably ask about the car then. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> 
like around that time, it was like really close. Mm-hmm. Like, this is why it's how they find cars. Mm-hmm. My favorite buy of them. She like just, just got this really shiny bright red sports car. Okay. All right. It was a new car. Yeah. <laughs> she had like just gotten it. It was like from the UK. Hmm, the, the UK? UK? What's that? Never heard of it. I was just about <laughs> to say. Were those her boyfriend's initials? <laughs> No, that's it. They're just dropping it. And it was a really special model. Her boyfriend was a model? <laughs> she had waited for a whole year for it to arrive. So does that mean I don't have a chance? <laughs> She's dead. Who are we talking about? <laughs> She's dead? <laughs> <laughs> I guess her love of cars would be the obvious next topic. When do I ever not press harder? Uh, like, yeah, like... Everything else is like... It's like... Do the right thing or quit trial. Like those are always your options. <laughs> yeah. I really don't know anything about cars, but I had a feeling this would ba- this was bound to come up. Your Honor. Yes. Please have the witness append what she just said to her testimony. You mean the part about it being a special import car? Yes, you fucking dolt. <sighs> well, if you like cars that much, then that's not my point. Though to be honest, I don't know what the point is either. Miss Miney, would you please fix your testimony? It means that the driver's seat would be on the opposite side of the car. Oh, sure, whatever. My sister's new car was like a totally special model for me. Hold it! I yelled, hold it pretty forcefully, but I don't know actually about it. Uh, Ask for the heck of it. Oh, okay. I have to present evidence. Oh. Miss Miney, I believe. <laughs> Uh, I believe they said something about. One of the women was not able to escape. I don't know if was right, falling asleep at the wheel. It was like totally tired and I dropped out. There was a crash. I woke up in Houston. But I opened the right door and got, like, got out. Uh. Yes. All right. Mm hmm. Um, present. Miss Miney! <laughs> You're fucked! <laughs> Do you remember this article? Huh? <laughs> it's an article about the accident. You had said this in it. But I opened the right door and, like, got out. That's correct, isn't it? You, like, got out? Okay. No, no habla inglesa. <laughs> like, why are you suddenly asking me about that? Your Honor, which side is the passenger seat, the left or the right? Well, it's on the right side, of course, because the driver's on the left side. That would be if it were an American car, but it would be the opposite in a British car. Opposite? The two of them were riding in a British car. Like, like a horse? In that case, the pat. No, like a, like a medieval horse? Is that what they drive in Britain? Judge, shut up. <laughs> Passenger side would be on the left side. Uh, <laughs> play that again, dude. Well, <laughs> what do you mean by this? What, what, what do you mean by this? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> like all the voices are blending. <laughs> Miss Miney, you said that you had escaped using the right side door of the car, but if you were sitting there, then that means you were in the driver's seat. Oh shit! <laughs> and the fact that you responded like that makes me think that that has something to do with the case. You sure do scream into your hat a lot for an innocent person. <laughs> Order. <laughs> Back. Mr. Phoenix Wright is blabbering nonsense again. Eni said the person who was driving was her older sister, Mimi Miney. That is what Eni said, yes. But that is where her story falls apart. Uh, somewhere, all of us made a big error in our assumptions. Phoenix, it looks like you finally found the real root of this murder. If we connect all the dots, there can only be one answer. I'd like to act the, ask the court a question. Eni or Mimi? Who was really driving that night? It was Eni. Hmm. <laughs> Aaron, come back to Who me. Who was really driving that night? Yeah, Eni. Uh. If Eni got out of the right side of the car, then she would have been driving in a British car. Yes. Yeah. No, but Eni was in the passenger seat. In an American car. 
You all right? They just have been talking about this. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I know. Aaron, what's happening? Look, I'm... Does the walkthrough say something else? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't understand. The answer is the one person who had her driver's license, Mimi. After all, that makes her the only person who could legally drive. Oh, I see what they're saying. Yeah. Okay, got it. Because Eni is Mimi posing as... So, like, oh, alright, forget. But you just said... The witness, Miss Eni Miney, was the one in the driver's seat. I- I see what they're saying. Yes, I- I understand now. It was just like, that was a very, like, gotcha time to ask that question. No, but I think... I think what they're getting at here is that... Eni is actually Mimi. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, dressed as... yeah. Like, right now. Yes, yes. And Eni's the one who died. Yes. Which leads us to the next question. Who the hell are you? The next question? The next question? The next question? Who is the person standing at the witness stand right now? Right, right. Yeah. What sort of idiotic ruse is this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? This witness's name. This witness's name is... I'll tell you what her name really is. This witness's real name is... Chuck Connor. <laughs> X-Con. <laughs> it's a South Park bit. Take that! Dang. What a twist! Mimi Miney. That is your real name. Of all the foolish dribble. Then how do you explain her appearance? Of all the foolish dribble that I've slurped up. Ah, uh, why did I say that? This witness had severe facial burns when she was admitted into the hospital. So for the purpose of facial reconstruction, the surgeons used a picture. Facial reconstruction surgery. This is the picture she gave her doctors at the time. That's right! It's a picture of her younger sister! The one who actually died. Yup. But Mimi Miney, she died in the car accident. That's what everyone thought. However, that was not the case. Then, the bodies they found at the crash site. That was the body of the real Eeny Miney. Isn't that right? Ms. Mimi Miney! Mo? No. Oh. That car accident one year ago. The one who died that night was Eeny Miney. Her sister, Mimi, then stole her face and was reborn as Eeny. I want With her face. Oh. <laughs> With this, she effectively erased Mimi Miney from existence. Dang. Your Honor! What the fuck is my partner going on about? <laughs> I'm sure you can see now why Mimi had to kill Dr. Gray. What do you mean? Oh. What is the meaning of this nonsense? Hold on, still working it. <laughs> Dr. Gray wanted to call back the spirit of a dead person. Specifically, the spirit of the nurse that died in the crash, Mimi Miney. However, that would not have been possible! Because Mimi Miney was still, in fact, alive! And in the room. Oh, sweet irony. And that fact would have been discovered had the channeling been conducted. So this witness had to stop that from happening. At all costs. And, and, and that's why she had to kill Dr. Turner Gray? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Before the channeling, Dr. Gray had the misfortune of consulting this witness about communicating with the dead. Can someone take that hat away from her? <laughs> it's her, it's her stim, dude. Just fucking give her this. And in that moment, his fate was sealed. <laughs> well, Miss Eni, e? I mean, uh, what? Why did you say my name just now? Looks like I've been. Oh, oh. Looks like I've been unmasked. <laughs> Witness. <laughs> Dang. That's right. I admit it. My real name is Mimi Miney. <laughs> that quack doctor, he got what he deserved in the end. And I was so close to finally ditching Mimi too. So close. But 
But why? Why would you go so far as to throw away yourself? To become your own sister? I, I liked your hair. <laughs> yeah, I think I understand why. Mimi Miney had a Bell's discount for 10% off. <laughs> Everything in the store. Wanted her old self to disappear because of this. Um... Was it this? Yeah, I think so. She didn't want to be connected with patients dying anymore. Oh, because she was implicated in that. Yes, yes. Take that! Got it. That's... That's about the malpractice incident. Dr. Gray was right. The mistake was caused by the nurse. A nurse by the name of Mimi Miney. That's right. The person standing before us today. And a few weeks after this mishap, Mimi Miney had a car accident in which she lost her younger sister. The timing couldn't have been worse. Or better. For her murder! <laughs> 14 patients dying in that incident and her own sister's life extinguished. It was all too much to bear. That makes 15. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I found a way for myself to escape at all. The only way. She lost everything in the flames of that accident. Her sister. Let me, allow me to speak for you. Uh, and even her, her own face. <laughs> this was her last chance. Her chance to throw away her past and start a new life as her sister. That's pretty- that's more fucked up than I thought. The next day she woke up and had steak and eggs, and it- well, I, I didn't actually- And then she went to the Starbucks to get a coffee. I, I go to coffee and tea. Unbelievable. Steak and eggs. A plan beyond my wildest imagination. That jerk. If only he hadn't thought of that channeling mumbo jumbo. Mumbo jumbo? There's a ghost next to me that everyone can apparently see. <laughs> Becoming Eni has been the most horrible experience in the world. Spirit channeling the occult, I hate it. I hate it all. Mia's like, alright. No. <laughs> she was. I believe there are still a few unsolved riddles here, such as... Why did Humpty Dumpty fall off the wall? Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't fuzzy, was he? <laughs> Why did Miss Miney choose to go with such a complicated plan? And why did Miss Morgan Fay agree to help her execute it? Regardless, I believe one thing has been made crystal clear. It's time for lunch. Yeah. My piss! I've been drinking a lot of water today. <laughs> I'm extremely well hydrated. <laughs> the innocence of my of the defendant, Maya Fay. This This is preposterous. I I'm perfect. Me, Francisca von Karma. I'm going to enjoy the news tonight, Miss Von Karma. How about you? It's going to be broadcast all over the world, right? Your defeat, that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, jeez! <laughs> oh Holy my god, shit. he's dead! Oh my god! And one more for good measure. That's like straight up assault. That's, yeah, of course. Phoenix, hang in there, Phoenix! Phoenix. Even, even, even one whip is assault. Yeah. I gotta tell you. This court is a fraud. A sham. Shit. Now then. Now that we've all been sufficiently, sufficiently beaten into submission, <laughs> it looks like it will be some time before Mr. Wright regains consciousness. So I will go ahead and pronounce the verdict. Boom. Not Boom. guilty. Except for Mimi, she's guilty. Yeah, super guilty. Yeah, yeah. And also, Von Karma is guilty of, like, assault. Just straight yeah. up. And many times. That is all. This court is adjourned. Yay! What an eventful day. Congratulations, Maya. Success! I love your titties! <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> can you just fold over the robe if your sister's gonna be hugging you? It's good to see you, Maya. How are you doing? Sis! Sis! Uh, I didn't kill anyone, did I? No, you didn't. It was all just a dream. A really bad dream. Then explain how I shot that guy! You know, sis, <laughs> in my dream, I smelled a really familiar scent. A familiar scent? I was inside that clothing box, right? That box. That was the box 
Perhaps you used to store your quilts in a long time ago. That's right. Okay. God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, there is still one thing that I don't quite get. What's that? Why you can't close your fucking shirt, <laughs> yeah. dude? What would have happened if Mimi hadn't shot Dr. Gray? I mean, we broke in because we heard a gunshot. You think Mimi Mighty had planned to open the door to the chamber herself? And then you and Lotto would have witnessed quite a scene. A possessed Maya Faye who had just committed a murder. She had planned it down to the smallest detail, huh? Nick! <laughs> Congrats, Maya. Thanks! Looks like you bailed me out of another jam! Well, you know. But... I really don't want something like this to happen ever again. I hated shooting that guy. Yeah. Well, I don't think you have to worry. I think it's safe to say that the Faye family has some pretty good luck. <laughs> 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 I'm fine because I have you to help me out, Nick. But every time something happens, I lose someone special to me. First my sister, and now my aunt. Hey, Nick, tell me. Tell me why my aunt went did something so horrible. Why would she help me make money with a plan like that? I just, I just don't understand it, Nick. Maya, it's over. Why don't we just let it be? Why don't you just forget about why your aunt is a murderer? <laughs> yeah, get yeah. over it. Please, I need an answer. The reason Morgan helped Mimi with her plan was, it was, uh, he was like investigating her. What was that thing? It was like really obvious. I can't remember. What was the piece of evidence? Uh... Picture taken of the murder scene. God damn it. God damn it. Hold on. It, I'm it wouldn't be one of the articles. Brain. Uh it was uh it's Pearl for some reason. Okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Pearly? Four years from now, a new master will be born in the Korean village. And that person will be you, Maya. And? But if you weren't there, then the main family's bloodline would disappear. And what would happen then? Oh, that's right. She was talking about, like, pure bloodlines yeah. and stuff. The branch family. My aunt. No, Morgan's spiritual power is too weak. The next person would be Pearls. <laughs> Everything was done for her sake. Her sake. She loves that drink. <laughs> it was all so that Pearls would become the next master. You know her name is Pearl, right? There's only one. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Sorry, I've been drinking. I see double. <laughs> Did Maya... I've been drinking a lot of sake. Pearl's favorite drink. <laughs> Did Maya say something just now? I think that she was saying I thought so. Everybody's happy in the end. Wow. Bananas. Date and time unknown. Detention center. Solitary confinement cell 13. Oh, it's Morgan. My precious Pearl, you are the only one suitable to be the master of crying, dear child. Hey, I sacrificed it all. All for you. I helped that brainless nurse carry out her murder. Incorporated with that weep happy prosecutor. It was all to unseat that annoying, witless main family girl. That Maya Fay. Damn. But I shall be patient, my dearest Pearl. A chance will present itself. Your time will come. I mean, aren't you going to prison? Yeah, I wish I saw her in like the fucking you're orange an, jumpsuit. You know? Yeah, you're an accomplice to murder, man. But we did it. We did How it. How perfect. Yeah. Yay. Oh, sweet. Ooh, more Von Karma. Huh? Yeah. How many episodes are there? Fuck yeah. Uh, probably can, five. Can you look ahead? Whoops. Guess not. Nope. Well, that's fine. We're going to do them all because this game's great. Yeah, hell yeah. All right, next time on Game Grumps. All right, we we'll did it. We'll see you later, everyone. Yeah. Goodbye for now. Goodbye forever. No. No. Oh, just, just for now. No. <laughs>